Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to my channel, The Daily DIYer. Today we're taking average terracotta pots and using them in very unique ways. And these ways you may never have even thought of. So head on over to your local garden center, craft store, or even Walmart and Dollar Tree and grab some of these inexpensive crafting supplies. I found the biggest selection at Hobby Lobby, so I had fun just sort of picking up different sizes and parts and sort of coming up with some unique ideas to share with you today. So this very first one, you are going to need a three sizes, a small, medium, and large terracotta pot, and we are going to make an adorable gnome. So first thing is I'm going to be painting the two smallest sizes with acrylic paint. You can make your gnome whatever colors you want. I really wanted mine to be bright so it would stand out against some of my landscaping and garden. So this guy got a bright green hat. And now to work on the largest size pot, we wanna choose a paint color that is going to contrast against your first paint color. This is going to be his face and body. Then for his beard, I'm using some white chalk paint and just creating a really simple sort of teardropped shape with a point at the bottom. And this is going to be, like I said, his beard. Just fill it in all with white paint. Then for his feet, I'm taking some black paint and adding some half circle shapes to each side of the beard. And now to put him all together, I'm using some hot glue for this, but if you have more of a super glue or a high tack glue, I would recommend that if this is gonna be going outside so it can withstand the weather and the changing temperatures. We're going to basically stack these in a row and on top of each other so that our hat comes together and sits right on top of the gnome's body. And of course we can't forget his little nose. I had these half wood beads and added that to the front of his face right underneath the hat. And now let's make a wind chime using these six smaller size terracotta pots. These are from Dollar Tree in a smaller size. I decided I wanted to make mine in a rainbow style. So I headed over and chose six different colors for each one of the pots. Then of course, I'm just using a foam paintbrush to paint all of these pots, and I did give each one of them two coats. We are gonna be feeding some jute through the holes in these pots. So I took my scissors and just made sure that the holes at the bottom were big enough. 
and they easily kind of routed out. Some of them had some paint in there and just kind of were clogged up. So it's easy to just pop those holes and make them a little bit bigger. And then we're gonna be using a three ply jute to help hang these all in a row along with some wooden beads. Doesn't really matter what size your wooden beads are, you just wanna make sure they are bigger than the holes in the pots and also not too big that they're gonna be seen. So we're gonna start with the top. I'm taking a larger wooden bead and feeding the jute through it and then back down again to make a loop at the top and then tying a knot so that my bead won't slip off. After I cut off a long length of jute, you wanna make sure it's pretty long because you don't wanna run out of string as you are going through this process. You can always cut it shorter, but you can't make it longer. So we're gonna add our first pot. You're gonna go from the bottom of the pot through the wider opening and then feed your tail from the loop at the top through there and cut it down to size because we don't want that extra hanging out. But here's a close up look of the top of our wind chime. We're gonna start by adding a bead onto this long piece of jute and you're gonna feed it all the way up till it goes to the inside of your terracotta pot about halfway up. And also you'll see here, this is when I was trimming down that extra long tail piece so it won't hang out later on. So feed your bead halfway up into your terracotta pot and make a knot. Again, we are going to feed our next pot in line up and to make sure that it touches that uh, knot that we made underneath the first pot. Again, you will feed another bead halfway into the pot, make a knot, and you will start to see this tiered effect happening. So go ahead and finish up by going through this process several more times until you have all of your pots in a row. pretty once you get them all strung together and they also make a really pretty sound when the wind blows. But just make sure you don't leave these out during a storm or high winds because you don't want your pots to bust and you would lose your pretty wind chime. Now let's make some coasters using these smaller size terracotta pot saucers. I'm starting by using my chalk paint. I love chalk paint, especially for things like this because it pretty much sticks to everything. You can use acrylic paint, you just wanna make sure you seal this, but we're gonna do that and I will show you in just a little bit what that looks like. So I'm giving all four of these saucers a coat of white chalk paint. And to make them colorful, I'm using some scrapbook paper that I had on hand and a mason jar lid seemed to be about the right size circle I needed for these to fit down into each coaster. So I went ahead and cut these out and then used some regular stick glue to adhere them to the bottom of each one. And now we need to make these waterproof. So I'm gonna be using a polycrylic in a clear matte finish and just applying this with a foam paintbrush onto the entire parts of the coaster just to make sure they are waterproof and they're sealed against any moisture. These are 
are so fun to make and quick and easy and inexpensive too. They'd be so fun for a party or for your patio or porch. Next, we're gonna make a solar light holder. And I wanted to show you the sticker on the bottom of this pot. It's a 6.3 inch size pot. You can see it was only $2.37. The important thing about this is you just wanna make sure the hole in the bottom of your pot is big enough to hold your solar lantern. So yes, this idea is just that simple. Of course, you can always decorate your terracotta pot and make it fancy or match your garden decor too. Up next, we're gonna make a really fun tiered planter. And I have three different sizes of terracotta pots. You can make yours bigger or smaller depending on the space size that you have. And I wanted mine to be really bright and colorful. So I'm starting with a coat of white chalk paint on the bottom half. And then at the top around the rim, I'm going to add a colorful edge. I love shopping for flowers and I happened to get to the store the same morning they had all of these flowers delivered so I got first pick and it was so so fun if you love gardening too, hit that thumbs up button uh, all these colors just made me so happy so all I'm doing is I added some large rocks to the bottom of the pots to kind of give it some uh, drainage and also to give it a little bit of height so I didn't have to use so much dirt and soil in the bottom and just added soil and then stacked my pots one on top of each other and once they were stacked then I added my flowers This idea is so simple and also really inexpensive and easy too. We're gonna make a lantern using a saucer, a pot, and also this vase from Dollar Tree. I stuffed the bottom of my pot with some packing paper that actually came when I purchased the terracotta pots. It's what they wrapped it in to protect them. And then I added some pebbles on top of there. You can find these at Dollar Tree and at garden centers and wherever. They have them pretty much everywhere. I sat my saucer on top of that and then added some more pebbles inside my vase to weigh it down before adding my candle. You could also use a battery powered light if you wanna use this indoors, or you could even use a citronella candle if you wanted to use this outdoors to keep the bugs away. If you don't have a large area to have a garden, you can make your own small miniature garden using a large saucer and three different sizes of terracotta pots. And actually I think mine are just two sizes here. I filled the bottom of the saucer with more of those pebbles and added my uh, soil and some more flowers into the pots. It made for a super cute miniature garden. Now, unfortunately, I do not have a green thumb, but I sure do give it a good try every year. So if you guys have any special tips or tricks for me of how I can keep these pretty petunias alive, I would much appreciate that. You can leave those down in the comments below. Now let's make a super quick plant hanger. So I'm gonna be using colorful yarn for this, but you could use jute or twine or rope, whatever you have on hand, you just wanna make sure to cut four equal lengths, about three foot long each. Oh, no. 
Now you're gonna lay your two strings at a time going across your pot both ways, so vertically and horizontally, and then you're gonna tie them together in the center. Next, we're going to make sure that that knot stays in the middle and the bottom of our pot, and we're going to tie knots right where the edges of the pot are. So take your string two at a time and tie a simple knot, just tying them together, making sure your knot lays at the edge of the pot. And you're gonna do that on all four of your strings. And now you should have five knots total. We're gonna start breaking apart the strings, pulling one from the next one over and gathering them together, and then tying each one of those in a knot about halfway down your pot, just making a simple knot and making sure they are tight knots so they don't come apart. Once we have this one done, we're gonna move over counterclockwise, grab that single string and pull one apart from the one at the top, separating those two. Again, tying those together about halfway down your pot and you're gonna continue this for the next two sections. So now we should have four groups of two strings, again, like we did at the start. And again, we're gonna follow this process one more time, splitting apart the two strings that are next to each other and tying another knot closer to the top of the pot. Then go ahead and continue this around for your next three sections. Now you can flip your pot over upside down or actually right side up and you'll gather all of your loose strings at the top and tie a knot. This next one also couldn't be more quick, simple, and easy. We're gonna make a candle holder using a small terracotta pot and a saucer. You just flip your pot upside down, add your saucer right on top, and then you have a little spot to add a candle. Now, of course, if you want, you can glue these pieces together and make it permanent, or you can just let them sit this way and take them down when you want to, and then you can repurpose your terracotta pot and saucer for something else in the future. Another way to decorate your pots is to decoupage them. I pulled out some pretty wall stickers that I got from Dollar Tree and decided to decoupage them onto my terracotta pot. But first I wanted to paint it white. You can use napkins for this, you can use fabric for this, you can use scrapbook paper for this, or in my case, like I said, I found these pretty stickers from Dollar Tree and decided to add those to my pot. Once the paint was completely dry, I cut out some cute sections of these stickers 
it's obviously they're pretty big and just stuck them onto the pot and went over them with my Mod Podge. And then once the paint was dry, came in with my foam paintbrush and went over those stickers pretty generously with the Mod Podge and I covered the entire pot, not just the stickers. That way it would all have the same finish. Let me know down in the comments below which one of these projects was your favorite. Hit that thumbs up button and please subscribe if you haven't yet for more ideas, inspiration, and budget-friendly projects like this one that you see here. I wanna thank you all so, so much for joining me today. I'll have even more ideas and inspiration popping up on your screen that you can check out next. And I will see you in the next one. Happy crafting.